Hey gearheads, and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. I'm Holly. And behind us is perhaps the most talked about vehicle in the world. That is the new Tesla Cybertruck. We are at the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. In this video, we're gonna take you on a quick tour. Stay tuned. All right, gearheads. Yes, we are at the 2024 Chicago Auto Show with the most talked about vehicle in the planet. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. This is Elon Musk's fever dream, and that is the nice way of putting it. This is the Cybertruck. Full stainless steel exoskeleton on this. They had to invent ways to make the bodywork on this vehicle work. Like this panel right here is welded under load. I, I, I fear if these welds ever let go that this panel would pop out and get me. But there's just so much going on up here. This is the only Tesla vehicle with a front mounted camera. Push in, there we go, there we go. This is the only Tesla model vehicle with a front mounted camera, full 360 cameras on this one. Uh, we'll get more into that here in just a little bit, but gotta show you the frunk. We've got an electric vehicle. Yes, there is a frunk on this one. Power opening lid. Just be really careful. Do not rest your hands here when it comes to close, because again, this is all stainless steel. We've got this exposed edge right here, and that goes all the way around the front as well. There's just a lot going on with this pickup truck. I don't have full capacity here on this front trunk, but it is big enough. You could get a single uh, roller bag, carry-on bag, you could get a couple backpacks back here, enough for a weekend trip, but that isn't the only storage solution here on this one. It is a power closing front trunk too, but again, watch, watch your fingers. We get this full width LED light bar across the front. We've got headlights down low. We've got tow hooks down here. Toyota, are you paying attention? Your traditional Tundra pickup truck does not have tow hooks up front. Cybertruck's got them. Where are yours, Tundra? But yes, your headlights are up here. You've got your LED running light. Plastic bumpers, but that's okay. There's your front camera up there, but again, fully stainless steel exterior on this one. You can see, Holly, if you'll come in close, it does show a lot of fingerprints. There is a special care and attention you do have to take to this vehicle and maintaining this vehicle. Um, Holly, we, we've got a little, a little something here. <laughs> This is the biggest windshield wiper I have ever seen in my life. And you can see it is very flexible for the largest piece of glass I think I've seen on a vehicle in my entire life. This windshield goes all the way up to the peak of the roof here on the side. This thing is a ridiculous, just imagination of a vehicle. It's got a very short, overhang up front here. Holly, if you'll kind of come around to the side, the proportions on this, definitely scream electric vehicle. You could not do this on a gas powered vehicle. Just the short front hood, the front overhang, like there's barely anything in front of this big Goodyear tire. A uh, lot of stuff going on. This has a fully adjustable air suspension. It can raise and lower on a whim uh, with an air compressor. We do have rubber tipped uh, wheel covers here. You can pull these off to see an actual wheel back behind it, but uh, specially designed Goodyear rubber tires on this vehicle. They worked in conjunction with Tesla when they were uh, creating this vehicle. So those are a special compound, special design here for the Cybertruck. If you'll remember, Elon showed it off. We did not have rear view mirrors. We actually have rear view mirrors on this production version. So that is something that is unique to this vehicle. I also wanna bring Holly, if you'll come in really close real, this is a foundation series. This is the first iteration of the vehicle, the first uh, generation. This is like the founder's model. This is. You got the first one. And so there are just subtle touches uh, on the body side, but take a look at this thing. Holly, you're gonna have to back up to really get the full thing in view. But just the straight lines, all the character lines on this make it look like anything else on the road. This thing is nuts, but you can see I'm 5'10", where's the peak? Like, it's not too much taller than me. It is not the big, massive truck I thought it was, but it's not tiny either. Very unique, very interesting styling here. Hidden door handles, no door handles. We've actually got buttons there that pop them open. 
and allow you to get inside. We'll kind of work our way back to the back. Very minimalistic interior on this one. There is still some physical controls can be found. You get physical controls for your seat here. You get physical controls on the door over here for your mirrors. Uh, you get an electronic release for the doors, but if power goes out, you've got a fiscal latch to open that. A lot of different use colors and textures in here. You do get this squircle of a steering wheel. It's not quite the yoke. They finished it off with the profile of Cybertruck here in the center, but you get your turn signals as buttons on the steering wheel. There are no columns, uh, column mounted anything's on here. So your turn signals are here on the steering wheel itself. When I do that, Holly, if you want to come in here, we actually get a view from the cameras. Uh, what's in our blind spot, there is a camera back behind us because we do have a tiny, teeny tiny rear view mirror that does not do a lot because when the rear tonneau cover is closed, I actually can't see out the back of the vehicle. We get uh, wireless charging pads up here, a couple cup holders, nice center console with a little bit of storage in there. This is all rubberized. That's nice. Uh, did not expect that. So very interesting look there. A lot of open storage in this one. So open storage, but we do get a ledge so stuff doesn't just go rolling around in here, which I like that very much. And then uh, talking about a Tesla, you got to talk about the screen. This is the largest screen they've ever put in a Tesla. I already showed you the rear camera on this showing what's back behind us that works as a rear view mirror. Uh, you get all kinds of connectivity in here. Everything that you would want to do on the vehicle can be controlled here in the screen. I won't go into all of it because I'm not here long enough to really get into all of it. Lots of additional storage here in the door, very unique design uh, to the door panels, but we'll go ahead and close that and move to the back seat. Same design here, button, and then you can open the door panel from right here. Physical window controls on the doors, more storage down here, which is nice. No handle to grab to climb in, but it is fairly easy for me to get in it and out of at 510. Plenty of room, like an F-150 back here. Much like the Model S, we get a full screen back here. You see Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Twitch. You can stream stuff back here, riding in the back while the vehicle's in motion. Can't do that up front. You can also control all the air vents, the way the air uh, blows on you. You can position exactly where you want it going, which is pretty cool, but it's also a little bit of a gimmick if I do say so myself. Some map pockets for storage back here. And then this is a pickup truck. So we've got to talk about under seat storage. The seats do fold up and give you a flat load floor back here in the back. They lock into place. There's this little strap that you pull here. They are 60-40 split, which I like that, but we don't get a fold down center armrest. And then Holly, you were looking up just a little mm -hmm. bit ago, massive glass roof up here. You would imagine from the shape of it, from the outside, that there wouldn't be that much room back here in the back. But I was actually surprised just how much headroom was in the back seat uh, when I was sitting back there. Let's go ahead, close this. You didn't move. mention the latch oh. seats for the car seat. Yes, the latch yes. Points. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Thank you, Holly. There are lower latch points here. That's for, what I'm here for. For the car seats. Uh, so you can install that. I'm not quite sure. Top tether situation. Looks like there's a spot behind that center headrest. Uh, but until Elon sends us one of these to test, I don't know when we're going to be able to do a car seat test in one of these. Very trapezoidal, boxy, straight lines everywhere on this. This is a pickup truck. So we have a bed back here and I'm actually going to close the power tonneau cover. You can see it comes out from in between uh, the cab and the bed. Like I said, when we were inside with this closed, we now do not have a back window. The glass that I actually see is the roof. We are looking at the roof of the vehicle. This is heavy enough to support the weight of a human individual or two or whatever, uh, but yes, it approves your electronic efficiency uh, when driving around because again, this is an EV. You push the button here and it rolls back up, exposing a bed that is big enough for four by eight sheets of plywood. This is an electronic releasing tailgate, but it is a manual up 
tailgate, so you had to lift it up yourself. Still plenty of storage back here. We get LED lighting, two 110 plugs back here, a 240 50 amp uh, plug back here. So you could charge other EVs that are stranded uh, with the massive battery pack uh, in the back of this. And talking about storage, we have a frunk, we have a bed, and we have a trunk. So plenty of storage back in the back of this vehicle, all kinds of different storage options. If you truly want the longest range Tesla Cybertruck, they do sell an additional battery pack that like fits in the bed back here. So this is not a traditional truck as we think of pickup trucks, but it can be used as a pickup truck because it has a max of 11,000 pounds of towing and a maximum payload of 2,500 pounds, which are some pretty impressive numbers. This is the top trim Cyber Beast with two motors in the rear and one motor up front, three electric motors in this, over a thousand horsepower. This thing is nuts. And of course we get a full width LED light bar back here, camera back in the back, and then all that exposed stainless steel exoskeleton here on this Cybertruck. Holly, now that we've been through the entire thing, what are your thoughts on the Cybertruck pickup truck unconventional thing here beside me? It's something. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine many of these on the road in Texas? These are made not too far from us in Austin. I mean, well, okay, so I would say honestly with its size and uh, and massive masculinity of it that <laughs> Texas would the machismo of it that Texas would be a good place except for it's electric. Yeah. And yeah, we we yes. So it's like competing audiences there, right? I yes. guess. Yeah, we, we got a lot of feedback on our last Ford F-150 Lightning. Feedback's a nice word. Yes, yes, but I, I'm just truly impressed with this, getting to see it, getting to experience it for myself here at the Chicago Auto Show. I mean, it checks a lot of truck boxes. It's got the bed, it can tow, it can haul. Range got the is, plugs, got uh, some car seat yeah. latches. Range is a little bit in question with this, but a uh, huge thanks to the Chicago Auto Show for talking Elon Musk into bringing one of these. This is Tesla's first time at the Chicago Auto Show. They typically don't do stuff like this. You can see this truck for yourself here at the show uh, by making your way out to the McCormick Center here in uh, Chicago, Windy City. You can see more from Holly behind the camera at Female Consumer at, uh, on Facebook and Instagram. You can see all things GT Garage Talk at GT Garage Talk, Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, Threads. Yes, I gotta mention X, uh, he also owns this. Uh, um, but all that is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. Before we sign off, there's just one last Foundation Series badge here on the back. But as for me, with the most talked about vehicle on the face of the earth, the 2024 Tesla Cybertruck here at the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. Until next time, gearheads, bye.